Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to fix overexposed video in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you two ways to fix an overexposed video in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! For the first method, let's first hit Command 7. This will be our guide to fix our overexposed video. Okay, then go to the settings, make it waveform, and select it again, make it Luma. Okay, as you can see, our clip is overexposed. Overexposed clips are above 100. It's way beyond 100, so it's overexposed. Always remember that not all clips are recoverable, okay? Always shoot properly. Okay, now go to Color Inspector. Click this drop-down menu and select Color Boards. And then go to Exposure. Be sure your clip is selected. Okay, the way to fix an overexposed video is we start with shadows and then highlights and then mid-tones. Okay, we will do it step by step and it will be easy. Okay, this waveform, this is the representation of our clip. Okay, this is the face of the woman right here. The first thing we will do is adjust the shadows so it is above, just a little bit above zero. Okay, this is the shadows the mid-tones and the highlights. We will do is adjust the shadows until our waveforms is a little bit above zero, okay? Okay, let's drag our shadows. And while looking at our waveforms, okay, perfect. It's now near zero. Now let's proceed to highlights. So as you can see, the highlights is above 100. What we want is below 100. So we will adjust our highlights. Click this circle and then drag it down until it is below 100 okay perfect as you can see our shadow is below zero we will adjust it a little bit to make it a little bit better okay that's it perfectly exposed and then mid-tones is used for adding contrast to our image so we will just pull at a little bit a little bit a little bit okay perfect it's now fixed. Okay, now let's go over to our clip, see if everything is fixed. As you can see, the waveforms move as we play because the waveforms is the representation of our video, our clip in waves. Nothing is above 100, so we're good to go. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second method, go to your color inspector, go to the drop down menu and select color wheels. I prefer the color wheels because all of the settings or the parameters are here within reach unlike the color board which you need a lot of clicks just to adjust, okay? But for the color wheel, everything is here. This is your exposure, 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 exposure. The left side is your saturation. Huh? It will save you a lot of time. It will save you a lot of clicks, okay? Let's start. Again, we will start with the shadows. Drag this arrow. Drag it down until it reaches zero or near zero. Okay, this looks good. We'll now go over to the highlights and drag it down until it is below 100. Okay, perfect. Now let's go over to a clip. There's something here. Let's drag it a little bit down. Perfect. Easy, right? Then let's adjust our mid-tones a little bit. Shadows, mid-tones. Perfect. Don't go overboard. Less is better. Okay? Just few drags and drop. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about how to make a countdown video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.